One of the things we do in Gleon, I think, that is different than a lot of other organizations is we focus primarily on what do people need in a network to get uh, research done at a global scale. The kinds of science that we confront in Gleon are the kinds of the kinds of questions that have global relevance, that cross uh, political boundaries, that cross ecological boundaries, and that really require a diversity of lakes and a diversity of systems and a diversity of ideas and people's skills uh, to be able to confront the science. Because not all lakes in the world are like uh, Trout Lake, uh, here at Trout Lake Station. And in fact, um, most of the lakes are not like Trout Lake. So to be able to uh, have lakes that are brown or green or clear that have different kinds of landscape settings, that have different kinds of fisheries and different phytoplankton communities. Uh, to have access to those kinds of systems means bringing together uh, people and the lakes that they, uh, that they work on from all over the world. The kernel was, gee, we should, we should compare our, our data around the world to see how lakes function from one point on the planet to another. But what turned out to be the the most powerful part of that is the network of people and and there's something that fundamentally different that happens when people meet face to face and talk about ideas and talk about data and uh, walk away from the table with something different than they walked in with. And so it's the network of, of people that underpins this, this network of data and lakes and observations and allows us to move forward and, and come to conclusions that we would never come to independently. Many of the questions that are important to society um, or, or to the earth um, are larger questions, questions that are too big for one individual to be able to tackle. And so I see an important um, growth area in science of, of these large interdisciplinary, international kinds of team science, the, the sort of science that Gleon is, is starting to do. Um, and that's going to become more and more important for us to be able to do that as efficiently and effectively as we now do um, small individual investigator science.